Hi, welcome to Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to share with you how to create a virtual background to eventually all video streaming software. For example, when you go to Google Keep, yes, you can you can click here, you can change the background, perhaps you can have some animated background from the default setting and of course you can you know put in some pictures but what if you want to put in your own animated background it is is not supported here right so what we can do is since it's limited so what we can do is i will suggest that, um, to use obs this software Okay. It's a free and open source. Everybody can download. Okay, it's totally free and it's available in both Mac and Windows as well as Linux platform. So all you need to do is just Google search OBS. There, here you go. It's an open broadcaster software. Already the first one. As long as you see this logo, it's like a fan. Okay, click on it, then you can download immediately. Select the Windows for Windows user, then download install. After that, you shall see this guy here. Okay. Once you open it up, the very first time it will actually ask you to go through the configuration. Okay, to it will actually come out this. The very first time when you open, you will get this. And it will ask you whether you want to go for streaming or you want to just for recording. For me, I will choose the number one. Okay, it doesn't matter that you're choosing streaming, then later on you want to do recording or you want to use virtual camera. The virtual camera is the one that we wanted to use right now, this guy, to replace any background in all your video uh, streaming software, including Google Meet, Skype, even Zoom or Messenger and so on. So you just go through the setup, okay, according to your preference. Okay, of course, if you right now, you just want to focus using the virtual camera, you can click this, then next, and that's it. Apply setting. Okay, for now, I don't want to change anything because I'm doing it for streaming and of course recording. So the very first thing you need to do is you need a virtual camera to embed in your Google Meet here. Okay, how do we do it? It's very simple. For me, you need a virtual, uh, what we call, you need a green screen first. So the first thing you need to do is go to a Zoom. Okay, The reason I use uh, suggest Zoom because everyone has Zoom so far, right? Okay. So what you can do is just start a meeting right away. Once you have a meeting here, okay, the very important things you need to do is make sure choose your virtual background to a green screen background okay definitely if the first time you open your zoom or you never edited anything you won't see any other background but the default one so what you need to do is just click add image just create a green screen okay to create a green screen can be easily you know just go to pen okay open your pen okay then my input first huh Okay. If you do not know how to create this green screen, open up paint in your windows. Okay, just fill up with green color. Then save it. Let's say you want to call it green screen. That's it. It's very, very simple to have a green screen by yourself. Okay, so right after you have this green screen, okay, keep this window on top. Okay, the best is you, you just maximize or however it is up to you. Okay, just keep it on top. Do not minimize. Okay, the tips here is do not minimize this zoom. Okay, because what you're going to do next is we're going to embed this green screen of yourself into OBS and replace the green screen to other virtual background. Then we are using OBS 
to start a virtual camera here which you're going to use the virtual camera and apply to any other video software so the next thing you're going to do is come to OBS here you're going to add a source and the source will be a Windows capture let me do it one more time Windows capture ladies and gentlemen oops okay it's here click it okay I will say capture zoom zoom window just for example okay however your name is up to you because that is for internal and for your reference only okay when it's done I'm going to choose the zoom meeting for now you shall see a blank screen like this because I have been minimized so make sure you never minimize this zoom so all you need to do is just switch to the OPS then you can click any other stuff come back here okay if you still see the blank screen like this all you need to do is all you need to do is double check of this capture method you can choose a windows okay windows 10 then you shall see yourself here already okay then to avoid the cursor appear in the zoom screen so what you need to do is disable this capture cursor do not take this capture uh, cursor disable it then okay so right now you have your this virtual screen here okay what you need to do is you don't want okay, you don't want to see all these uh, floating things right all these floating bar the name and so on so what you need to do is you have to resize by just pull up from the corner okay resize until here let's say then the next thing is you just press your keyboard alternate alt once you press it you can actually crop let's say i want to crop up to here i want to crop up to here i want to crop up to here and i want to crop out this part also okay when it's done resize again to fit the whole screen okay if you cannot fit you just resize whichever that you like okay now i'm at the middle of the screen already okay the next thing okay of course try to avoid wearing a t-shirt that with green color else it will actually blend it in okay next thing you're going to do is you right click this source since just now you add a source in terms of window capture right now you just down, right click on the capture zoom window click filters when it comes to here what we're going to do is we want to take away the whole green screen so that your cell will become transparent so what we need to do is we add this guy called chroma key press the plus here go to this chroma key okay i will just say remove green screen okay a very surprisingly you will you shall see the green color have been removed so you have yourself transparent right now okay of course you can adjust other stuff like the contrast the brightness brightness being how bright you want yourself to be and then the opacity usually i will still go to one okay the smoothness and stuff for me this is fine for me okay i will just close it so now you have a transparent uh i would say yourself is transparent in the background so what you can do next is you want to include the animated transparent uh, background so what you can do is you can download some um, video looping files for example i have this file on hand okay i prepare a few one i have this video background so i just drag and drop here okay the next thing you shall see is there's a background video here it's animated because it's a video so i'm going to drag resize the video to cover the whole screen and the next thing is i want to put myself on top of the video so what you can do is you just drag this this guy the capture zoom window which is yourself to the top
Okay, let me double check the filter. Remove the color screen so I should see myself. Cool. Voila. So I have a animated video behind me already. So the next thing you can do is, okay, of course, if you want to put up your brands or anything else you want to include in the video, you can include. For example, I want to put, um, let's say, I want to put my own logo. Of course, not that big, right? Okay, then I'm going to resize it to this color. Okay, the reason you are seeing this, sometimes it might be disappear in terms of the video background. So you have to double check whether it's a loop. Yes, you have to click this guy, call loop, so that the video will remain even though it is finished in terms of the video playback. Okay, so make sure it's there all the time. So you will keep on looping. Now I just put a logo, you know, something like that. Then perhaps, let's say I want to put much more interactive way, I can include the things I downloaded, which is a video frame, I can put here. Then again, this video frame is very big, so I'm going to transform it into fit to screen. Okay, the next thing is, I want to make sure this is on the back. Okay, I can do something like this. And I want to make sure this video is keep looping, so I just right click the file, click properties and loop. So that this file will be played over and over again. Okay, if you want yourself to fit inside the frame, so of course you can resize yourself. Let's say I resize myself here. Okay, this is one of the options you can do. Or of course, you can always go back to this, whereby using this elemental background. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is, when you are done with your arrangement, your layout, your design, your decoration, the next thing you need to do is go to here, you see this guy called Start Virtual Camera. Click on it. Once you see it, it's already started. So you are wondering what is going on. Nothing, right? Okay, now let's go back to your Google Meet or any software that require yourself to appear, you know, that's a camera capture. So click on the setting. I'm sure there's one way for you. Okay, let me try to find setting. Okay, under this setting here comes to this video. Okay, guys, once you install OBS, you shall see this thing called OBS Virtual Camera. In all sorts of software that require your camera capture. Okay, once you switch this, amazingly, you will see what we arranged just now. It's done. The reason you can't see the video because we set the background just now. So right now, I'm going to change the background to nothing. Da -da. Okay guys, don't worry about what you see here is correctly and then is presented at Google Meet is flip. Okay, because this is preview mode which is for myself. Once other people join in the chat, they shall see differently. Okay, if you experience any problem, especially this kind of issue, whether you want to flip it or not, please contact me, leave it in the comment on the box and I do my best to share with you. Thank you for watching and hope you find this feature is useful for yourself and happy video conferencing using OBS virtual camera and surprise your audience, your guests, your friends by showing them a much more professionally designed virtual background, especially in two software that they are not expecting such thing will be happen. Okay, that's all from me today. This is Jay Chong. Once again, thank you for watching at Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe and like this video if you found it useful. And hope to see you again. Bye-bye.